Hello everybody, I'm Diane Sayre. I am the founder and co-director of the Schiller Institute NYC Chorus and I'm making this video to ask you to support the chorus and I wanted to tell you a little bit about the founding of the chorus and uh, my own background. The chorus came into existence on December 20th, 2014 when I and some friends of mine had been discussing the terrible injustice that had occurred in the death by strangulation of Eric Garner and the grand jury had just determined that there that no one should be indicted uh, in this case and it was clear from the media and other hysteria that the city could really be pulled apart and that people were very angry but that such divisions were not the most productive way to address such things and that it was really necessary to pull people together on a higher level and remind ourselves what it means to be a human being. Uh, and therefore we had a sing-along of Handel's Messiah in New York on December 20th and a hundred people showed up on very short notice. We had wonderful professional soloists a um, wonderful collaborator on the keyboard to hold things together and a couple string players and um, during this concert which opened with the canon Dona Nobis Pacem, Give Us Peace, we learned at the conclusion that exactly what we had hoped to prevent had occurred, that is two police officers Rafael Ramos and Wen Jian Liu were brutally murdered in their patrol car in Brooklyn. Uh, and what Friedrich Schiller discusses in all of his work is the need to educate one's emotions. Uh, he himself was very distraught about the French Revolution where he said a great moment has found a little people, that you had a chance to do something like what occurred in the United States, but the population was too susceptible of being enraged and manipulated and ended up chopping everyone's heads off. Uh, the United States cannot fall into such a disaster, but that requires a cultural transformation. Schiller writes in his essay on the sublime, no man must must that the will is the species character of man and reason itself is only the eternal rule of the same, of the will. And he says, precisely for this reason is nothing so unworthy of man as to suffer violence, for violence annuls him. Who does it to us disputes nothing less than our humanity, who suffers it in a cowardly manner, throws away his humanity. If you think about someone like Martin Luther King, whose entire existence was musical, uh, the way he spoke and the way he thought, he overcame his fear of death because of his knowledge of a, an immortal principle, which is what you find in classical music. You also find this principle in the African-American spirituals where the composer and arranger of so many of them, William Dawson, states how remarkable it is that for all of the hideous, brutal crimes imposed upon the slave population, the music does not reflect anything ugly or brutal or rage, but merely this quality that Schiller talks about in the sublime. So. Our chorus uh, began working uh, and we decided it is no auditions. Anybody is welcome. We are now about 80 to 100 voices any concert that we do. And we are able to do major works by Mozart, Beethoven. Uh, we're working right now on the Brahms Nania for our 9-11 memorial concert. I would like to also add one other thought on the importance of this from a discussion I had with Lyndon LaRouche when I was reading Shakespeare with some young people who no matter how dramatic the phrase would say everything in a monotone and he said listen to the great operas of Verdi 
uh, the settings of Shakespeare plays, of Schiller plays, done by the great composers, and people will learn how to educate their emotions by what the composers have done. So I think our chorus, and when you hear our chorus and the people who've come to our concerts, often remark that there is something very special about what we do, that you can tell that the chorus um, is not full of professional singers, although the, the sound quality is beautiful, but there is a passion and a commitment because of our commitment to a better humanity. And uh, therefore, we want to grow. We'd like the chorus to have 1,500 members, if possible. We rehearse now in four separate locations in Flushing, Queens, in Brooklyn, in uh, Manhattan, near Lincoln Center, and northern New Jersey. And uh, we would like to be able to reach as many people as possible and create new chapters everywhere. So uh, we are holding a benefit concert uh, at St. John's in the Village on Sunday, June 23rd. I'd like all of you to join us there. There will be a reception where we can talk about this more. And uh, I hope to see all of you soon. And thank you very much for your support.